Around. What's up, my dudes? What was a little chilly? How are you doing today? We have something uh, very, very cool. We have a full BMW uh, 4 Series Grand Coupe. Uh, we have frameless doors. We have dot matrixes on the sides. And we have a hatched back window, um, which actually makes that much easier. So a little trick to the brake light uh, that I learned a long time ago that I can pass on to you guys who don't know. Um, I'm sure plenty of you guys know, but for the few of you that do not know. Um, BMWs are a little different from Audis. They have a little, like, little tab on the inside versus the Audis, which pull out. BMWs look like they're going to do the same thing, but they actually have a little tab thing that you got to knock onto the side. So it's very rare that we have to take some paneling off, but we had to pop those, which was no screws. What up, dudes? That car, easy money. They're all easy money to you. <laughs> We're going to put a little love and care. We're going to be doing carbon. We're doing 35 on the front, uh, 20 on the sides, and back. No windshield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Um, so we're pretty much ready to go now. I actually got here a little earlier and prepared somewhat, so we're going to jump right into it. Hey, I appreciate you shooting me some glass aid. Oh, you're very welcome. Glad you got it. Uh, 2016 Audi S3, easy car. Um, S series is generally a little bit more difficult than the A series. There's usually a little, they're not bad, but they're definitely like tend to be the tighter seals and stuff like that on those. I remember doing like an S4 and an S8. I don't remember an S3 though, but the lower you go on the numbers, the easier that they generally are too. So you aren't showing up to the tin off or the battles? No, I'm trying to just take a vacation this year. I would love to go. It's just, it's not in the cards this year. Let me plug this in real quick. Let me uh, actually just get started. My brother got me this shirt <laughs> for Christmas. Eat, sleep, YouTube, repeat. It's going down next month. Is it really already that soon? Oh, man. I tell you, time goes. No, uh, so we didn't really have much of a vacation last year. We had time off, but that was uh, through... Oh, that was through uh, my wife's pregnancy. <gasps> oh, dang. Okay, hang on. We forgot to change the YouTube location. Oh, let me tell you. Last year, because of the pandemic. That'll do it. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's my current life. Okay. Um, well, at least we did that. Change thumbnail. Does it do an auto thumbnail now? That would be actually really helpful. Yeah, so, I mean, we had the pandemic, she was pregnant, and by the time everything somewhat settled, uh, you know, it's now going into summertime, and we just kind of want to take a break, so busy season on top of that. Yeah, we're definitely just going to, like, we, we want to go somewhere and just get a house and, like, relax, which is kind of funny, cause, but I want to go somewhere warmer, because <laughs> we've had to deal with wintertime, too. Um, video to speech is a bit slow. That's weird. That shouldn't be a thing. I wonder why that would be the case. 
Hmm. Let me uh, let me check some preferences really quick. Because I don't think I have delays on anything. No. Um, hang on one second. Sometimes that fixes things. You can deactivate cameras and reactivate them. Looks like bad lip singing. I hope I don't have to restart the whole thing, but. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah, but if it exists, it shouldn't. <laughs> oh, it must have been the camera then. Every once in a while, I'll restart. Like, actually, every couple. Thank you for the glass aid. You're awesome. Oh, you're very welcome. Glad I could help out. Um, thank you. Uh, thanks to your teaching, I'm working at a shop that is booked out, booked a month out. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Especially around this time of year. This is, uh, this is definitely what can happen, booking out well in advance. The GoPro 7 Silver, can I do direct to OBS? No. Um, so the problem, you need a black edition because those are the ones that enable live streaming. The live streaming is a thing that is only on the black edition. So you use the RTMP live streaming feature to transmit the signal out. Although, if you can get HDMI out, and then you want to buy an HDMI, HDMI or wireless HDMI thingy like I have. I think that should work, but that makes it much more expensive. Yep, 7 and 8 and 9, those all support live streaming just in the black edition, so. They're kind of annoying because they like, I think they have the features already made and then they just don't enable them on certain iterations. Okay, so on this one, um, one thing we had to do was we had to pop this off, so real simple, all the clips stay intact here. Um, and then, uh, as for this brake light, it's really hard to see these tabs, but there's a tab on both sides, and you can just, if I can figure out where the little spot is, I should have just taken this out. What does this look like on this side? Oh, this whole thing. So this one, you see how this goes that way? And then this one goes not. Oh. Huh. Okay. It's Oh, it's because I had it down a little bit. There we go. So then that'll come out. So these go sideways. These little tabs here. They don't even look like tabs, but they are. Love those brown seats. Yeah, this is really nice. I like this. So we're going to get started cutting it out. A little bit of grease or something there. We'll keep an eye out for that across the whole thing. So, no windshield on this one, just all the sides in the back. Any ceramic jobs in the future? Oh, we always try. <laughs> we sell more carbon, uh, especially now, which is really cool to see. I mean, we're coming into summertime. Makes sense to have. I like it year-round, but... You know, I totally get it. Going out to your car and it's zero degrees outside, it's like you're not really necessarily thinking about heat reduction. Okay, what do we need to do? We need some films. So 35, which box is that? That's this box right here. So all the, all the carbon, 
all the carbon and ceramics, those are the ones that are on the wall. All the dyed film that I have, I generally use more of and I transport it back and forth between here and the other place that I tint. So that's why that sits in the back of my Explorer most of the time and extra stock is like piled in. So you can stream with the seven black? Yes. Yes, seven black, like just look at the features. So on the seven black, it's got, uh, you can stream to YouTube, you can stream to Twitch, you can stream to GoPro, you can stream to Facebook. Um, but GoPro also has um, a custom streaming server option. So that is what makes that work. And Twitch, yes. You used to be able to do Mixer, RIP. <laughs> OBS. You technically aren't streaming to OBS though. You never stream directly to OBS when you set it up. Uh, you stream to what is called an RTMP server. So that's essentially the same as streaming it to YouTube or Twitch or Facebook. The difference is you're creating your own RTMP server to stream to. Hey, Mr. Liberty or Death. That is quite the username. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five. Uh, there are few, uh, there are very few uh, two hour YouTube videos I watch from start to finish. Yours is one of them. Great contact and work. I really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm surprised you can make it through that long. <laughs> no, I actually really like a li live streamers that I enjoy. I'll watch all the way through start to finish. So I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much means a lot. Oh, but dang. Unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. So I'd have to have somebody translate it, but <laughs> My text to speech pronounced it about as good as uh, I would, <laughs> which was very, very dry. I used to watch them start to finish, but now I don't have time. You put them on while you're tinting. No, that's awesome. Staying busy, that's great. Hey guys, uh, chill. <laughs> I, if there's some like misunderstanding or whatever, I need you guys to please just stop because I'm trying to run a stream. I think whatever was said was misunderstood, so just Chill. Chill. Because we have a grand coupe, and that is what's more important right now. Oh, dang. This is slip sliding all over the place. I'm going to squeegee you down. Where's my zero? There it is. These ones are a little bit, they're not high. They're just slightly high. Does your, does your knife get, or does your knife scratch the top? Uh, if you drag it too close to the film, yeah, it'll leave a score in the film. It'll do the same thing. So just try not to. But it can happen. So 
why do bubbles pop off after the next day? Um, it's because there's they were always there. Uh, they were just water filled dirt specks. So as the water dries out, anything that's keeping the film uh, sitting high up or sitting up off the glass is going to leave a little uh, air pocket. And air pockets always are bright white, silver, any one of those. Not sure if you got it. Oh, window tint life, Mr. Rosenberg, how are you doing? Yes, I did actually, thank you. I joined, I joined Clubhouse to see what it was all about because I heard about it and I've never actually seen it. And I wanted to understand what was going on with it. I was trying to create something similar through the Facebook group. It seems, it seems interesting. Like you can create basically like podcast sessions with people and stuff, similar to like a Zoom conference and whatnot. But it's like pop in, pop out type of thing. I think that's really cool. Um, I just wish it was on Facebook or YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, we got this one too. So we need a little bit of a round there, just a little bit. I'm gonna do it very lightly right here. <laughs> Your nails are healthy. My wife cuts them and then <laughs> every once in a while she's like, I gotta cut your nails again. And I'm like, Gee. Okay, I know. I feel like I'm six years old when she does that. There we go. Good deal. Okay, so we are doing these individually. Not that we can't do them together, but sometimes there's little differences. And every once in a while, we have individually framed ones that are more than two doors. So when I have the time, I like to cut these out individually. Did somebody say this is lit? <laughs> Thank you. I try. Snap shrinking has caused the inside to curl and made some of my windows peel. You no, know, I had a couple rams peel on me in the winter time, and it was just the rams though. Um, so I backed off a little bit. I've been snapping windows for for quite a while now. Uh, but 
I don't know. I just went a little bit lighter on some of them. Because it was weird. I noticed that it peeled like right dead center where you snapped it, like you said. But that was just on, like when it was extremely cold. And it was only on a couple of rams when it was extremely cold. So I've just tried to make it a little bit more smooth, I guess. Nothing too crazy. Are you going to extra prep the dots on the door? Um, I'm going to like take a clay bar to them and keep the edges really tight. I don't have any plans other than that, though. I don't sand. I don't sand the windows. You know what I was going to do? I was going to bring on some tape because... <laughs> You know how I've, I've said like a hundred times I don't tape anything? Um, I got some, some packing tape. Well, I had it laying around, and I just kept forgetting. I was like, man, you know, painter's tape sucks. And then I used, uh, I used the sheathing tape, and sheathing tape was, was great. Um, but I only used it a handful of times. Um, and then I lost the roll. <laughs> so I have it somewhere. Uh, but I had packing tape, but the sheathing tape is like, man, this is just like packing tape. It's probably not exactly the same. It's probably a little bit more sticky or something, but still, very similar. Reminded me of a lot of the packing tape that I had. So I picked up, or I had packing tape, and I brought it to uh, the glass shop yesterday. I used it on a bunch of cars. I think I'm going to start taping a bunch of stuff. Like, the things that drove me absolutely crazy about painter's tape was, like, the painter's tape... Oh, wait, hang on one second. Hello, Tint Studio, how can I help you? Yeah, we do those. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Um, I couldn't do it today. I'm all booked up. Uh, we would be uh, fifty bucks for the strip, though. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Yep, no problem. Bye. Well, that is what it is. People charge 30 bucks for windshield strips? That's surprising. strips for 30s. I, I wouldn't mind doing it with the full car, I think, for 30 sometimes, but that's not usually what I do. I charge 50 for them. All right, back to this. Which way should we pull it? we got to pull it just a little bit because we haven't gotten that shaving thing down. Um, so if we go... We asked for 75 for the visors. Yeah, that's healthy. Most of the time, it's like people just get them with stuff. And so it's like, yeah, they don't take a lot of time to do. It's still a fair amount of film unless you have the 10 inch strips cut. So I suggest doing that. I keep forgetting to get those cut that way. So I have a 24 and I cut that in half and then I just try and hang on to the 24 like always. That works. And then a lot of them you can split in half now because they have so much border in between. You just two piece them. You can 
shift them a little bit to try and make it a little straighter, but. Do that. Just a little bit. Trying to make sure this is centered. Because you get that curve. And we want this to go basically slightly over where this dot matrix is. So it clings to the glass on the edge. Oh wait, no, that was fine. Cool. <laughs> Well, that takes the cake. My boss orders 36 inch rolls and won't order the strips. Does your boss like to waste money? It's annoying. <laughs> I can't imagine. You can clip this. You can clip this part and show it to him. And, yo, dude, you really should get the strips for those windshields rather than a 36 because you're wasting money. If, if, you're not, if you're not wasting money on the actual film, you're wasting money also on the time. But he doesn't want to spend it on the other one, go figure. Oh, Canon. Canon. We good? Okay, we are good. Good deal. I charge 50 with either fronts or whole vehicles and 80 just a brow. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I had, I had a guy yesterday, I was not put in a tough spot, but it's, you kind of feel bad. Just like I had the whole car tinted for 240, and then what I quoted for a strip and removal on one of the windows, he was like, but I only paid this much for the whole car. Why is it that much for the one window? And I'm like, ah, because of the removal. Feel bad. What percent? Uh, we're doing 35 in the front. And 20 on the bait. On the bait. was a loaded one. Sorry, I was <laughs> I was listening to uh, a list of cars. Uh, sounds good. As far as I could tell, sounded good. Have you tinted cars where the tint is worth more than the car? <laughs> Pretty much. I've had some that are very, very sketch. I'm sure everybody who tints has had something like that in their life where you get fog lights hanging off of the car, you get brakes not working. I almost drove a car straight through a garage door because Um, yeah, so a, a, a guy came in, uh, wanted his car tinted, and then, yeah, sure, pulled it around, and damn thing near drove through the uh, garage door. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this blade? 
I was pissed. I don't think I've ever yelled at a customer, but I yelled at that guy. I was like, what the fuck about your truck? And he was like, oh, yeah, sorry, I got to get that fixed. It's like, yeah, you got to fucking tell people. And then I tinted it. <laughs> There we go. Good deal. Yeah, plenty of bad paint jobs for sure. Just old, deteriorated cars. Or at least that used to be the case. It's not as much anymore, but I, that, I'll tell you, it definitely depends on your price points. If you keep things a little bit more expensive, uh, you will get cars that are a little bit more expensive too. Shave that shit when you install it. We haven't gotten that yet. I got some files. That's been going... Eh. <laughs> it would be much easier to do on something like this, though. Shrunk. Oh, we'll just do it again. It happens. It's how I learned how to do it. Messed up a lot of windows, and then eventually you kind of learned a sweet spot for it. It goes faster, though. And one of the problems that I had with, like, just shrinking the individual fingers is, like, you'd kind of, like, push everything to the bottom. And that works, um, but it wasn't a great way to like seal down that bottom edge. There were still like little ripples and stuff, so you still get little fingers that could pop up and whatnot. And then for whatever reason, the shifty windows, so stuff like this, Challengers, Chargers, Camaros, I had a lot of those peel down the road. And then as soon as I started snapping, I don't know. I fixed a lot of that. I used to have cars dropped off for like half a day so they could try and dry out before they go. Are you going to experiment with removing the weird quarters on the Accords? <laughs> you know, I would. Um, but I've had like two people post pictures of it lately. And uh, still nobody can post instructions or a video of them taking it off. Which is kind of funny. Because they're just like, yeah, take them out. It's easy. And it's like, okay, well... Take the video while you do it, maybe? Because it's something that I'm sure, like I said, it's something I'm sure I can figure out. Wow, this doesn't like stick at all. Yeah, it's something that I, I don't do, so I could figure it out with some time. Or, just I can tell them the way that they are. Because, you know, I gotta say, the one that we did, he was very ecstatic about the job anyways. It may have needed some work. Hang on, I gotta fill this up. Uno. There. I assume you pop the panel, it's pretty obvious how to do it. 
Yeah, well, make a video then. I need a sink right by where I'm working. Cannon. There we go. Cannon. Ask your gun. <laughs> uh. Hey man, you might have already answered this, but any idea when Glass is going to be back in stock? Probably in June. Uh, in the meantime, uh, text the, the studio. Uh, we've been sending out some spare uh, cruddy looking rolls. So they, they're they cut just as good as all the other ones. They just don't look that great. Like they're, I don't know, they got really dirty and stuff like that and uh, when they cut them down and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, like, God, that's so annoying. You know, what somebody considers easy for themselves, you got to put yourself in a in a different position. If somebody is telling you, like, hey, could you post a video, or I need some guidance on how to do a thing, and you say it's pretty obvious, that gets really annoying. That's what drives me crazy about some people in my group. It's like, I always bring up the picture, draw the... I like that's why I also don't mind answering what is considered uh, like a basic question. Um, I'll bring up a great picture for you guys. Draw how to draw an owl. This is how people explain how to do stuff. How to draw an owl? Draw some circles. Draw the rest of the fucking owl. That's the <laughs> that's the way some of you guys are. <laughs> What time is it there? Oh, here it's 11 a.m. Not super late. Or super early. I changed my hours. I changed them to 10. I was 9. And I had a hard time getting here at 9. <laughs> I had a hard time getting everything all set in the morning and here at 9. So I'm 10 o'clock now. You know what? It feels great. You miss rush hour traffic. Just mosey into work. I've already had time to wake up, have some coffee. I am not a morning person. That's the other thing. I'm very much not a morning person. So, gives me time to set up a little bit. Hopefully get the stream going. Because without it, <laughs> somebody said I wasn't a tenor for not using a soak rope, even though I do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've tried to kick out of my group a lot. It's it's just it's not helpful. Um, so I don't, I don't have to, you don't have to contribute to be in the group. You don't have to be helpful to be in the group. But when somebody asks a question in the group and then you get a bunch of responses that are like, Oh, it's easy. Yeah, that gets annoying real fast. It's like, yeah, for you, for somebody that's been doing it or whatever, and it might even be a pretty basic question considering the field, but your answer is not helpful. That's not the group. So be helpful. Or sh shut up. I don't, I don't mind memeing and stuff like that too. So it's like, but some of it 
gets posted in a way. Also, sorry, I'm not like ragging on what was said earlier. It just, <laughs> it's just like, God damn it. I've heard that too much. And someone asked what tin is the best. Someone said Gila. I'm pretty sure they were joking on that one. <laughs> but you never know. Maybe they'd use it. So, kind of brings up an interesting thing, cheaping out on window film. I've noticed when you cheap out on like film and other stuff in your own business, it makes your whole, like your whole business starts becoming that. Like, I'll put it this way. I felt way better about my shop when I got this floor than before I had it. It's just like little things like that. Do you like, do you need a better floor? No. It's a floor, but will it make you look better? Will it make you feel better? Stuff like that? Yeah, it like actually does, like no joke. It makes you feel about better about the pictures that you're posting, about your environment, about the impressions that you get from people. Like superficial, for sure. And that's the thing. I'm not really much of a superficial person when it comes to a lot of things like a fucking Gucci watch or something. Gucci bag, they don't make watches. Do they? They probably do. See, I don't know. I froze. Uh oh. This is a bad time to do that. GoPro. Oh, I know what I said. Gila's good because you can get it any time. That's true. They have convenience going for them. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one second. It's not even very cost effective. It feels like that because it's only 20 bucks or whatever, 10, 20 bucks. Multiply that among a whole bulk roll and let me know where you land. <sighs> Hang on. Huh, what the heck? For somebody new it's cost effective. If you're just going and picking up the bare minimum, it is, but it eats at you over a long time. So it gets you from job to job. I don't know what happened, but something happened, so uh, whatever. Thanks, dudes. So if the screen goes black, then I switch my bad, I wasn't saying it's obvious how to do it. It's my bad, it might not be a huge pita the panel pop. Oh no no no, it's okay. It's all right. Sorry, you hit a trigger spot. <laughs> it's all good. I, like, yeah, I, I noticed I started to get into a big uh, rant about people saying it's obvious. 
I've dealt with it a lot lately uh, in the group, and I've tried to like resolve some of it. So I saw two. It was just funny. I saw two of those accords that were posted, and then the guy that post that made the post. Uh, <laughs> He was like, he just said, it's easy. <laughs> and then I posted that meme. So I didn't expect everybody to take a video either. I'm just like, god damn, two people in a row are posting about this, but nobody's got anything about taking it apart. I'm probably not going to get one of those for a long time either. So for the ones that I do, you know, if it's not like a nuisance thing, Off topic, do you know somebody that has problems with VMW engines? No. Well, like, I, I, I have. When it gets into the mechanical stuff, that is not me. So this guy. This one, the dots are spaced out in a unique way, and sometimes you can actually get it to seal down pretty well. So we clay barred it to help clean those in-betweens. Um, but the other thing that I did, um, it's a little, little different, um, but I learned this a while ago after some experimenting. Um, and it makes sense, too. Try and keep your edge this very edge, all the way past the dots. So you have this little bit where the glass, um, you have this little bit where like there's a little bit more room in between that and the edge of the glass. So make sure like if you're not shaving the windows, try and get your film as smack close to that as you possibly can. So that way it's, you're not seamed on the dot matrix itself. Because if you seam it on the dot matrix, it will, um, it'll let a bunch of air in for sure, but if you can enclose all this around it, it'll still feed up from the bottom, or it still has the chance to feed up from the bottom, um, but it'll look, you can get it to look nicer that way. I'm happy with that one. That one turned out really nice. And of course, <laughs> on this one, they used two. Why? I don't know, but whatever, whatever difficulty they make up with, with the back window, they add to those side little dot matrix. And Have you tried the glue stick people recommend? What glue stick? I don't know if I've seen one more people recommend. I've heard like Elmer's and I think I heard of it like a 3M one. I, I took a look at like a glue stick before and I, I I didn't understand it, but I didn't take a lot of time with it. Th this is years ago, though, so. I, like, smeared it on, and all I could see was, like, scuzzy glue stick. I seal up in the parking lot because it makes me feel good. Is that... <laughs> nice. Why, why BMW? Why you gotta do this on both? Nobody else does this with their frameless doors. Why you gotta do this? <laughs> Two. Who do you think will win? Sean or Carlos? Oh, for the tent battle? Um, you know,
What? It's, uh, whatever I say, it's not going to be taken on record, is it? I don't have anything bad to say about either one of them. <laughs> um, I, from what I think I heard, uh, I think Sean's been saying for quite a bit longer. That doesn't necessarily mean you're better, but if I had to just like off of gut, it, it has nothing to say like both are great tenors, um, but it's, it's hard to beat some extra years of experience like that, especially when you see the types of uh, videos and stuff that he's done over the years. Like he reminds me a lot of, uh, similar things I had to go through and whatnot. It's like you never know for sure what's going on in the background, but uh, Sean is a hell of a, a tinter worker. He's built one hell of a business. They both have great businesses, but I think I'd give the edge to Sean. That's not to say both of them won't put out a fantastic job or anything like that. That's just like, you just kind of, I don't know. I think I see where he's coming from a little bit. You know, I had lots of those days where it was just like car after car after car after car for like other companies and stuff like that. Those are the things you don't see necessarily in the videos. And then with the type of hustle that he's had of building his own business and whatnot and built like from the ground up. Um, oh damn, it shifted just a little bit. I just like, he just seems like we've had like some similarities there that are just, you know, when somebody has been tinning <laughs> for a long time, you just, kind of pick that up. I don't know. I'm explaining it really poorly right now. I'm trying to line this up and then I made it shift. There we go. Found a video of removing a, a cord quarter. Thank you. <laughs> Post it in the group. Hey, bro, I just had my windows tinted. Lots of bubbles in the front. Will this go away? Um, so what you're seeing is definitely water blisters. If it's ju you've just had it tinted, uh, that's very normal. So it's a wet application. So all that water, can like, it pools together as it's evaporating out. So yeah, that's, that's really, really normal. Uh, give it a few days to dry. Um, as far as the haze, that depends on sometimes the film that they apply. Uh, give it a little bit more too. So if it's like sitting in the shade and still looks hazy, it's likely just the glue's a little cloudy. That's not uncommon. It's a little less common now, but not completely uncommon. So just give it a little bit. But if you went with a cheap carbon or ceramic film, then uh, the haze ain't gonna change. Also, the shop that you went to should have explained this. <laughs> when you take it, it's like they, they should absolutely explain to you what's going on. Dang, this is good. I like it. Nice edges. Was there a super chat? I'm sorry if I missed it. I know we had one earlier. Yeah, see that air feeds in if that top isn't sealed down. So we got like a little, little air channel right here, right past it, and it's going to spread. So let me seal that down right quick. Hang on, we got the owl. 
here. Kendall! Oh! Kendall with the two! Thank you, buddy. How you doing? Not seeing any super chats in here? I know. What's up with people? That's <laughs> eh, all good. Thank you for riling them up, though. Yeah, see? See that? Get it out. Lock it down. That little corner right there, that's what's letting all the air in. It's like a leaky tire. Seal that baby up. And then same thing with, like, you're going to have to do it at the bottom because it's just dots that go straight down to the bottom. But a lot of water down there, too. All my stimulus money to Super Chat. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> that might be a little extreme. I have to figure out this headphone situation today. So my left earbud is definitely broken. It's got, like, there's something that happened to the band that is causing uh, just a slight disconnect. So I'm hearing a lot of, like, static and popping. So I got to, I talked to Best Buy a little bit. This is, I'm in a tough position. So I, I was actually slightly happy. Um, I was actually kind of excited because it's like, ooh, I've had these style headphones for quite a long time. And there's been a lot of headphones that have come out. And I was looking through them and dude, dude, fucking Bose, Bose is letting me down huge because they discontinued these and all the other headphones suck. I'm sorry, they do. They all have one caveat that makes them absolutely suck compared to what I like about these ones. So I looked at the AirPods, I looked at the AirPods Pro. Tell me, can you uh, adjust the volume on your AirPods Pro from your AirPod? Like, come on, seriously? I have to pull out my phone and do it, or I have to use the Apple Watch to do it? Dude. <sighs> or, or Beats? Uh, no noise canceling. And that's, that's, that's taking into account no only pause. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? You can skip tracks. You can go back and you can pause. And you can pull it out and it'll pause. Cool. Great. Can I adjust the volume, please? No? Okay. Why? Because they want to sell you an Apple Watch, I think. I don't know. Come on, man. Oh, it was so frustrating. I'm looking through all the headphones. So... There's extra things that they can put into the neck band. I'm not a, I was never a huge fan of having the neck band anyways. I just got used to it. But what's cool is these have like literally a 10 hour battery life. So they'll just go all day. So I don't have to ever recharge them while I'm working. So that's like a little bonus. Um, the neck band I also, I can also drop an earbud at any time and just have it hang there. Um, so if I need to listen to somebody, then I don't lose an earbud. But, okay, I was coming around to the idea of just having the truly wireless earbuds. But across the board, there's some, like, major caveat with all the headphones. So I was just about, I, I'm seriously about to probably get the AirPods Pro, but, man... Oh, Jesus Christ, these people. Uh, maybe double tap to ask Siri. 
Yeah, we took care of it. Double tap to ask Siri. <laughs> Hang on. Here's, here's how this goes. Okay. I have my headphones in. I'm working. Somebody comes up to me. Yo, dude. Hey, uh, I have this car here. And I'm like, Hang on one second. Hey, Siri. Can you please turn the volume down to 10%? Sure. Then it does it. Okay, now I can talk to you. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's this so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. This, uh, and, and like the part that I was like, how can there not be a volume control somewhere on the headphone? Um, and then I saw a post or a, a, a blog post that said something about, oh, you can just turn the digital crown on your Apple Watch. And I'm like, that's it. That's it right there. That's so Apple to fucking do. No, we don't put it on the headphones because you, you have an Apple Watch, obviously. What are you, poor? That's why. I have one, but I also have an Android phone now, so it just doesn't work with my phone. <laughs> so I can't use it as volume control. So annoying. So I was looking through all of them. The only one that actually had a neckband with similar battery life and uh, noise canceling or whatever was like the Sony WXMF1000. What I don't know. They got some stupid long name for it. But the neckband is extra funky on this one. So I don't know. I may or may not get that one. But I was like hoping I could find some current headphones that if I get them, I can put them under another protection plan. Because I use my headphones like all day for tint. So these lasted about a year to year and a half on average with how much I use them. Like I use them like all day, most days. So put them under a plan because they're gonna break. So when they do, I would love to just be able to replace them and not have to buy new ones. But yeah, as far as I can tell, there's none. Sad. <laughs> Super chat. Super chat. Two dollars, thank you. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The problem, it's broken. They stopped selling these headphones. <laughs> I'd still, I'd, I wanted to just swap them out, but they don't have these anymore. So now I have to find something else or I have to get like a, find like a refurb pair. Um, so that kind of goes against all like the protection plans and stuff like that. It's like, it's kind of like, it'll get me through to when I can't pretty much find these anymore. And whatever I, so whatever money I put into these are, uh, are no longer supported. I'm just playing. <laughs> it's all good. I just, you know those rabbit holes that you go down and you're just like, wait, what the fuck? That, that was that. It's just extra surprise, like, my headphones. Maybe the Chinese company? No, nobody does. I mean, they do have ones that'll sound like halfway crappy, I'm sure. But these ones were like, I think these were like three or 350 when I bought them. And I have well gotten use out of them. I could get the over-the-ear ones. <laughs> That'll fix all my issues. But then I can't really tint with them. I've seen some people that do, though. Uh, it's not really bows, particularly. Uh, they do sound pretty good, though. 
Bose has like the truly wireless ones, but they have a bunch of, just look at the reviews. And then they also have the neckband ones, but they don't have uh, noise canceling. Canon. <laughs> Jose with a five. Thank you, buddy. And also Fast M for that, too. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I wish I didn't break them. I don't even know how they broke this time. Usually, like, the battery starts to die or something on it, and then they'll just randomly shut off. This time, it's like, it feels like it, it hisses, and then you tweak the neckband, and then it's okay. So there's like, some loose connection, but these are all, like, sealed up pretty well. I don't think I'm going to be able to remove them without destroying them. Dora the Explorer earbuds have the best hi-fi. I'm going to go get them right now. Love over ear. Uh, for the de oh, so you don't hear the detailing department? I would love to have over the ear uh, <laughs> if I didn't have all this stuff on my head or something. Plus the summertime, they'll get really uncomfortable to tint with. But yeah, absolutely. Um, that's one reason I like these noise canceling, man. You just, if you have a noisy shop or something, which here we don't, but uh, dude, oh, so nice. You just literally turn down the shop. And it's just, it's way more relaxing. You can focus more on what you're doing. Oh, God, these look good. Very happy with these. So I'm going to see if they can order, like, a refurb pair from Bose or something. Um, that's basically what they said. They're like, either they're going to try and do that or they're going to give you an in-store credit, which if they give you an in-store credit means that there's only, oh, no, this is what I was going to do. <laughs> oh, that was a question mark at the end. Oh, this is it here. We're going to sidetrack from headphones for a minute. This is a good question. Uh, a shop recommended to get ceramic on my hatch window, but normal tint on the rest of the car. This seems useless since the car will still get hot. Not all the windows are ceramic. Scam with a question mark. Um, that's actually a really, really good question. Um, I mostly agree with them. I'd say also get it on your front doors. So even with ceramic, this, is, this goes to me telling too much information and being a bad sales guy. Um, even with um, ceramic on the whole vehicle. Your car sitting out in the sun can still get hot. Whatever uh, windows the ceramic is on, or, or carbon, it acts as a heat sponge. It's the best way I can describe it. It's more like a heat sponge. It soaks up the heat and it, it dissipates off the glass. So if your car's sitting there, it can still reflect into it, but it'll, it'll keep more of that sun off your dash, so it'll still protect the interior and stuff. Um, but as it dissipates off the glass, um, most of that happens while you're driving. So it's this really crazy thing. If you're driving your car around, um, and you have ceramic on the windshield and not on the side doors, you're going to feel a difference between the windshield and the doors. You're actually going to kind of wish you had it on the side doors. So it's not just about keeping your car cooler. It's about feeling cooler while you're driving. You know what I mean? And yes, you have air conditioning and all that, but I swear, once you put it on and you're driving around with it, that, like, keep your window rolled up and then roll it down and you'll feel that sun start to burn your skin. Like, that's, that's the difference. So, I really like driving with it. It's, it's, Definitely expensive. So I would suggest get it on the front doors for sure, along with the windshield. But if you only get it on the windshield, you'll definitely see a difference there. And let me know. If you get it, let, report back. Let us know how you like it. Would love to hear a follow-up.
So like this one, this one has a white car, which helps, uh, which helps with the heat, right? Because it's a lighter color. Um, and then also putting the carbon on the windows will definitely help out too. But we're not doing it on the windshield. I just got full ceramic by Lumar and I love it. That's awesome. Now, can you feel a difference between what you had and what you have now? Hooper Optic. Hooper Optic makes good film too. They, there's a different shrinking for Hooper Optic. I haven't ever messed around with it, but I do know about it. You think 45% is good? Oh, 45%? It's, it's definitely light. Um, you'll still be able to tell it's tinted. I lean towards 35 if you want to go lighter. Um, but if you like, 45 is going to kind of make it look like it's almost not tinted hardly at all. You know, it's, it's a very light, light appearance. So that's why I tend to go with 35, but... Come on, come on, you gotta get that a little bit. Pro Nano gets hot, but when you put your hands on the glass, yeah, that's all ceramic. So that's why, I, like, um, I've, that's why I kind of started saying heat sponge recently. Like, heat rejection, I still say a lot. That's because what everybody in the industry says. Um, but it's, it's more of a heat sponge, because there's, there's two ways to deal with uh, heat. You either reflect it away or you absorb it. And since mirrored films uh, aren't really allowed or very popular to get, um, I, all the films, they have to absorb it. Unless you went with a crazy mirrored look or something like that. But it's just not something that you see, right? It's not something most people get. So they have to absorb it, and then it... So you might think that it, it makes your car all hotter, and your car is still a metal box. Your car still will get hot. Um, but this, the heat that gets soaked into the window also is getting um, blown off with just passive air. And then especially while you're driving, all that wind rushing past your car is dealing with that heat for you. So that's why it's, I always say it's, it's a more comfortable driving experience too. Somebody posted the quarter removal video? Hell yeah! Thank you. That's all I ask. I don't care if you guys do it or not. Go ham. But I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate the instructions on how to do it. Do you think 35 will be noticed by the cops? Well, sure, they'll notice it, but whether or not they feel the need to pull you over is a whole nother thing. And that all varies from state to state and whatnot. I just did 35% on a cop's windshield yesterday. The only reason I know is because <laughs> he accidentally left his gun in the car. <laughs> he came and he picked it up. 20 on the front. He didn't, he didn't get limo, though, which is cool. He actually didn't get limo. He got 35 and 20. It was at the glass shop. It wasn't here, by the way. <sighs> What size roll will you get the job done for most front and back wind windshields? Uh, 30, 36. Get a 36-inch roll. That'll cover like 99% of everything. 
Every once in a while you get that super long caravan windshield or something where you need a 40 inch roll, but 36 is across the board for basically everything. that down it's amusing to me that cops in my area have dark tint <laughs> I know right <laughs> go figure they come in asking for it they'll be a, they'll just <laughs> yep I want five are you sure it's really dark yep yeah, I do. Okay, all right. So, after yesterday, I can't say it's every, everybody, but definitely most. There we go. Let's check how this is drying. I'm looking, f trying to get that reflection to see if, like, if there's any light or air traveling back through here. A little bit up here. Just trying to keep out as much as I can early on. Because if you can kind of button this up early, uh, you can make it look way better. I've heard some people sand these. I'd love to see that in person. Quick hard's best for the sides without scratching. I only use stuff for the side corners and stuff. Uh, get yourself tri edges. These, the, the blues, across the board, they're great. Uh, the blues are kind of like a middle, uh, a middle hardness. The pinks are softer. The yellows are the harder ones but they all feel really, really good. So like anything, as it starts to get worn out, it can scratch it, so pick up like a handful of them. And then they also have uh, what is called the smooth it, and that can help keeping those things, uh, that can keep those lasting nice a lot longer too. Dang, these doors look good. Like, really good. Yeah, buddy. Okay, cool. Very happy with these. These look good. These look really good. I don't want to brag, but they actually look really good. Okay, so let's take care of this back. So even a 36-inch roll can do a windshield? Yeah, uh, most trucks... SUVs, sedans, most vehicles, you're fine with a 36. So a lot of what you see me do here uh, is all with 36 inch rolls. It's just when I'm doing carbon that I'll typically have a little bit of, like I'll, I'll usually just get 40s because it's, it's starting to pick up more. So I could order like the longs and the shorts. Um, but typically whatever I, I use the most in I'll order multiple sizes, and then if I just don't order, or if I don't use some of the other films as frequently, um, I'll just stick with like, you know, some 40s or some 36s. I think also the reason I got the 40s was because, uh, I don't know if Geo, Geo's a little flip floppy on their platforms too. So on the Pro Classic, they have a 72 inch platform, and on the, the C2, Seems like they're still running on 60s. So it seemed like they had more 40 inch rolls and stuff available than the 20s and 24s and 36s, so. Might be a dumb question, but after, after the tint dries, is it safe to wipe it down? Oh yeah, for sure. 
You could wipe it down right after it's tinted. Um, just light with a towel, like you're not gonna mess it up. Um, like just use like a soft microfiber towel or whatnot. You could use paper towel, but you. And then use a ammonia-free glass cleaner. Oh yeah, and the 40s. Another reason why I got the 40s, uh, flip them sideways and they cover uh, most side windows. So there's that too. Well, you could actually, no, 40s you could just leave vertical and cut a lot of side windows too. So if I don't have to order like a ton of that film, sometimes I'll just order the longer rolls. Because, I mean, we, we moved to C2 last year. Um, and then it was just, then we started building up the studio, right? So we're still in that building up the business phase. And then the glass shop just does nothing but color stable all day. So there's that. Oh my God, you pro. <laughs> Have you thought about wrapping cars? Yeah, but uh, not not for me. Um, maybe like s s playing around with it, like hoods and stuff, tail lights. Um, it's a di it actually is a different skill set. So with window tint, uh, you're you're shrinking and it's a wet application. With uh, vinyl, it's a dry application. It's a dry application, and uh, you're stretching the material over everything. So, yeah, you, you'll be familiar with like films somewhat, but they feel very different. I've messed around with like some graphics and stuff like that, so I'm not like completely out of the blue with it, but I just haven't just haven't gotten into it much. Tint usually keeps me busy. Sorry I'm late. Wow, you actually said that at a really good time too. <laughs> What's up Dorita? How you doing? We don't have a market open today. Sad. All right, I'm letting that dry. Um, so I always say prep the back window to save some time. Uh, we didn't, so we're letting it dry. It'll just take a couple minutes. How about a 01 Mustang back window? It's pretty curved. Um, and you got a really big dot matrix at the top. What are you using to trade? I have TD Ameritrade. Um, I was using E-Trade. I never jumped on the Robin Hood bandwagon. That scared me too much. I didn't mind paying for commissions at all. I was just kind of like, well, if they're free, they're probably getting their money somewhere. Turns out order flow. Super fun. Forty inch roll? You would be perfectly fine using a thirty-six. It would cover all the doors, the back, the quarters, you would get out of it. You'd be perfectly fine with a thirty-six and a lot of cars like this. Really want to invest, but I don't get access. You have to if you're international, you have to find an international broker. They exist. I just don't know who. Wow, we must be getting popular. Uh, I take two to three hours. That's generally what I'll take on stream. Um, I'll be anywhere from like, I usually average around an hour and a half uh, on a full car uh, without a windshield. So 
no full windshield there. If we're doing a full windshield, it'll be longer. Do you ever have crazy customers? Very rarely. Wow, that is still drying. All right, we're gonna we're gonna speed this up a minute. See, see what I mean? Prep ahead of time so you're not standing there waiting for the back window to dry. Because now we have all the doors on there. Ooh, uh. Hey, Matt, I know it's probably been asked, but when is Glass Aid going to be in stock? It just ran out. Message me. Uh, message the, the Tint Studio number. Like, just text us. Uh, I have some spare rolls that I've been sending out to people. They're like the, the excess rolls that didn't look quite acceptable for me to package. Um, so I have a little stockpile of those, so I'm just sending them out for free to people. So just message us, and we'll have them out Monday. Limited quantities. I only have one more roll, and I bought six. Nice. They'll, you'll get about... It's, they're 100 foot rolls, so they'll last for a little while. You get about 10 full, 10 ish full back windows out of them. It's kind of funny how that all works out to be that. It's funny. I, like, I made that stuff for me. <laughs> I made that both for me and uh, getting the channel back going. It was like, if, like, because I had the channel going for a little while, and then we, we did like the, the certified tenor thing for a little bit. And I'm like, God damn it, if I'm gonna teach, I need a better solution for blades on glass. If I'm gonna be teaching a bunch of people, I don't wanna just pretend that scratches don't happen, because they do. All right, we're gonna cut this one out, and then we're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna use this as a template. Why? I don't know, I've been doing this lately. Maybe because I finally have a board. When do you think you can retire from tinting and just stream full time? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. But the streaming will always involve tinting, so it'll never really stop. But from like the glass shop, actually, I want to try and cut ties with them this year. But I didn't want to just like, I'm in limbo with them, right? So make good money when you go out there a couple days. Um, good people. And I just like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm at the point where I can just do it. Well, I am actually at the point where I can just do it. Um, but I don't have somebody to fill my spot. You know what I mean? So if somebody is looking for uh, an account in Michigan, um, I would actually love to start that pretty soon. But I don't want to just leave them, because I actually like them. <laughs> I, I have no obligation to them. I have no obligation to them um, other than they're just really nice people and they'll do well by you for sure. So to like build up their tent program and just let it all go to shambles. I don't really want it long term either. Like I could put it under some sort of like I could keep it and then find a tenner and then fill it there. I just if I can have it. Oh fill your spot? If you're in this area, sure. I gotta test you out first though. They'll load you up. They will keep you busy and they will keep you reasonably busy all year round. You can make um, basically whatever your cap is on work <laughs> out of there. They're booked out for like a month right now.
Yeah, see, look, I cut out a template. You guys happy now? I've been asked why I don't do this here and there, and I never had a good reason other than I usually just don't because I don't, because I don't tint around boards all day. But now I do a lot more now. So, templates, those are a thing. You might, might actually start doing that from time to time. Look at that, cut out one quarter window. Cut out the other one opposite on a board. There you go. Save some rolls. So the rest of this is actually going to go pretty quick. Pretty straightforward back window. Not very curved. Uh, just got to cover up some stuff in the back. Um, quarter windows, those are cut. Those are pretty accessible too. Is using a glass board better? To the liner better than opening. I don't, I don't quite understand the question. I like using just the door a lot of times um, because there's no reason you can't, and it's right there. It's right on the opposite side. Something I talked about on the last stream. Uh, a little bit. Something I want to actually cut down into a video. But I haven't got around to it. <laughs> Have you seen Carlos and Sean roasting each other? Yeah, I've seen some of it. <laughs> this goes into me being. <laughs> what I wonder too is like how many people have no fucking clue what they're talking about. <laughs> Classic came so did I. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Planning on changing my sprayer to the brass one. Is it is it spray stronger? Uh, no, it won't spray stronger. You might have like a little bit more control over like the cone tip. Um, you can also get a fan tip for it as well. Um, it's really durable. It feels great though. Like just the size. Um, it's on a swivel. It's really durable. It's very solid. Yeah, it won't it won't actually output more though. <laughs> that Mac Tech used to be white back in the day. Yep. And if I don't lose it, it just keeps going. I'm gonna have to cover up this this whole craftsman thingy here because I wouldn't get this one. The the other one is the same price. Um and but it has a USB port on it and a rechargeable battery. This one is more stupid. Same brightness though. No rechargeable battery. No USB, sponsored by Craftsman. I know, that too. So I'm gonna have a bunch of people that get this light. But I wouldn't endorse this light. I got bean boozled. I saw it and I was like, oh, I have that. I need to get another one. Oh, looks like they put it under the Craftsman branding now, just like the Porter cable. Not quite. Not quite. Craftsmen looked at it and they, they're like, okay, how can we make this worse? <laughs> it's 
So this one, USB port for charging, uh, rechargeable battery already in it. You can swap it out. This one has a little um, port, a little a barrel, basically. Here, let me show you really quick. This drives me nuts. Wow, that was way too long. Um, it has this with three AAAs. So this will die on you super fast, but you could put a rechargeable lithium battery in here. I recognize that much. Um, no USB port to recharge it, because obviously if you have just the disposables, you're not recharging those. Um, and it's, it's got a stupid light. So if you push both these on, ah, it's super bright. Now you wait a couple seconds. If you push it, it'll turn off. This one will. Good. This one, you have to cycle through all three every time. This one, one, two, three, if you push it within five seconds. So don't get the Craftsman one. Go to Menards or Harbor Freight and get the other one. USB is so convenient, I know. So even if you get a rechargeable battery, you gotta keep them in a charger. Inconvenient. Because I could use this light for a little bit and I could just pop it on a charger. Just boop. Charge it whenever I'm not using it. I really thought it was like the porter cable though. Oh, that, I'm gonna have to go try the porter cable though. And see, we'll see. Is it the same? I think it's the same. I don't think they could have changed it very much, but you never know. Maybe they did. Okay. Um, so we got to install this. So I guess we could, because it's a hatch, we can leave this, and it's stubby. We can leave it on the board. It doesn't look like a hatch. I genuinely thought it was not a hatch, but it is a hatch. I went to go pull the brake light on it, and I looked at it, and I'm like, that's a hatch. Super chat. Aww. Cannon. Tabor. Tabor with the 10, thank you. Just sent you a message on Facebook about your glass aid. Wouldn't want you to give away your awesome product for free. Aw, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, we'll still send it out for free, though. But I guess not now with the super, not for free now with the super. Thank you. <laughs> Has anybody been donating to the Easy Fund? Dude, I like my shoes. <laughs> there is no Easy Fund. You guys could put Easy Fund all you want. There is no Easy Fund. Right now, I have to get headphones, so that's next. Easy fun. <laughs> Shut up. I like my shoes. Yes, it would be better if they were Nikes or something, or Yeezys, I guess. Yeezys increase sales. Ooh, you might have just sold them. If that's the case, like a like a nicer car as a demo car. That now that that okay. Now you're speaking my language more. If it's an investment that helps with the business, that's one thing. If it's just superficial, we'll get cabinets and stuff to like dress up this spot. Okay, let's put this up here. Um, and extra thing, this right there. So I bought some tape. I forgot. Um, I wouldn't want a bunch of water dripping on that module, whatever the case. So, so I got some painter's tape. Oh, wait, this isn't painter's tape. This is duct tape. 
Oh, dang. All right, we're just going to go real light with this, then. I thought this was painter's tape. This ain't painter's tape. <laughs> this is duct tape. That'll work. Just going to do one of these guys so we don't have it extra sticky. But, yeah, just want to keep some of that water off of that module because all that's going to go dripping down so let's cover that up right close but not too far there Where can I get those glass sponges? What sponges? What? What sponges? Are they waiting for their car? Yes, they are. <laughs> Cannon. Jose! Jose with the 10. Everybody have a nice weekend. Have to go paint a car. Well, thank you for the super chat, man. And the other ones, you have a good weekend, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you for all the support this week, too. It's been crazy. Much appreciated. Scotch Bright? Oh, the like scrub pads? Yeah, you can use. Uh, oh, wait, we don't need to do that. We can put this back up here. We have the thing over there. Um, Scotch Bright, you can find at like a lot of local stores. So, like, I found the blue ones over at Target or in the cleaning section of like Walmart or something like that. You can get the blue ones there. Um, these ones are by Triage. Um, so this one's the scrub it and they make pads um, they, they make Some some tools for window tinners, so they found or they they made uh, those scrub pads as well That are a little better for like glue removal and stuff. So there's the white soft scrub pads um, But they have a couple of different ones that are like a little bit harder and a little bit softer depending on what you're using and that with that scrub it pad it helps apply some more like even pressure Good deal. Okay, so I think I'm gonna squeegee this kind of like I used to squeegee back windows. Cause you have a lot of paneling, so you either remove it or you do one of these guys. I actually used to squeegee a lot of back windows this way. You like wipe it off, you go from the center and you go right into the paneling. Normally we go from one side all the way to the other, but every time you go, you're kind of like knocking into that. So you're only doing like three quarters. Do that a couple times. Wow. Hey man, there's people in my town that are using your face to promote their tent business. Wow, can you take some pictures and post them in the group? I'd love to see it. Yeah, it definitely is rude. I'm almost flattered though, because it's, I didn't think it's something that would happen. <laughs> okay. They must be really, really lazy to get any type of uh, content on their own. 
It's not hard if they already tank. I've ha I've seen some that have ripped out like if you search like shrinking window tent on Google Images or something, it's like you find me very easily. So like I've seen a good amount of stuff similar to that. It's but never a shop advertising it. I did see one a long time ago where a shop was called Tint Stuff. And I was like, ah. Oh. And then they, they put like a big lit up sign with Tint Stuff on it. And I was like, oh dang, look at that. It's my very old video screenshot. Oh yeah. A little rude. I'm not gonna go after him or anything, so. <laughs> It's one of those things, like, if it was like using, I don't know. I'm just, I'm gonna chalk it up to, I feel slightly flattered that they would actually do that. It's not, yeah, you're right, it's not a great thing for them to just do it without permission or anything, but like, this is window tinting right now, so, hey. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. If you can post it in the group, I'd really, I'd love to see it. Oh yeah, how to tit tint uh, on uh, on WikiHow. They ripped like my whole thing. They they took the video and they broke it down with actually some really cool animations. By the way, like whatever they're doing is GoPro. Oh dang, thank you, dang you guys are awesome for that. Let me know and I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I appreciate that. Not yet. I'll let you know though. <laughs> um, is carbon more clear than ceramic? No. No, they're they're gonna be they're gonna be the same uh, or very similar, depending on like the grade. I like the other view better. <laughs> yeah, no. Just really pull that off. Yay, all good. Yeah, so if I had this brake light there, all the water would be running in there too, which can be a toss up on everything. The long one. Let's grab this one. Uh, so they'll both have low angle haze. Believe it or not, the clearest that you can have is just like no nothing there, or at least that more often can be the case. But you're talking about you're like splitting hairs, though. Like if you ask me, what is the clearest type of window film? Dyed. Died like all the time. Um, but that doesn't mean like when you're driving, when it's darker out or anything like that, that, that the film's gonna look less clear. What happens is with a high quality carbon and a high quality ceramic is the, the way that they get that, like they have to put those particles in the film. So they're creating a layer that, have, that technically would obstruct your vision a little bit, but they get it so teeny tiny small. So the smaller those particles are, the better it's gonna look, or and the clearer that it's gonna look. That's why I say don't cheap out on your carbon or ceramic, because it'll look hazy. I posted the picture on the group. Thank you, I appreciate it, I'll look at it later. Um, so with dyed, it's like there's nothing other than just a, a dye, which doesn't have, you know, really particles per se. And then uh, that's going to look, and then, and then the polyester itself. So what you're adding is for more performance on heat reduction. So they're, they're doing what they can to make it as teeny tiny, small, and as clear and high.
helpful and good looking as possible. Um, we did a thing. Oh, wow, we put it right there. Oh, it fell out of the towel, that's why. Let's not drop that. You know, I've I've noticed there's haze in uh, in laminated windows. I've put I've I've tinted my windows so many times, and like I always have tint on my car. That whenever I've had ceramic or whatever on my car, I've like never even really paid attention past the clear glass. Um, you always see like a little shadow in your laminated windows uh, on like s extra sunny days and stuff, like the mirror casting a shadow and whatnot on there. And you can see like a clarity difference. There's actually, you want to talk about low angle haze. We should start talking about low angle haze in laminated windows. Because it's there. A little bit is there. So whatever you put on it will add to it. So that could be like one reason, let's say, your front windows look slightly more hazy than the back windows, no matter what you put on the front. because a lot of the front windows are laminated for sound on particular cars, and the back windows will sometimes be left uh, as tempered. And that's really easy to check. You'll just look at the top edge of the glass. Like, these are all tempered. There's no seam here. There's no sandwiched layer in between it. Almost done. Get the, oh no, don't do that, don't do that. Get that squeegee jammed in there. Start pulling back my film. Let's not do that. Ooh, baby. This is going nice. Very happy with this one. Super clean, nice edges. We gotta check out these ceramic edges too. Looks like they're all drying out real nice. That's awesome. One of those little extra things. On some BMWs, they're a little bit tighter together though. This one, uh, this one's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Is there a way to remove the back windows without damaging the defrosters? Um, yeah, a lot of times you can remove it without damaging the defrosters. Um, use a... Use a uh, steamer and let that film get nice and, and hot and moist and they'll start to uh, peel off. I've been seeing a lot lately uh, actually this recommendation a lot that I hadn't seen before. So it must be something somebody figured out or made more public recently. Um, everybody was saying to, to trash bag the film. That is not unusual. But then what I saw a bunch of people say was uh, tint over the bad tint and then let it dry and peel them off together. It'll be a slow process. Yes, it is. It can be. It depends on the film. Some release easily and some take a long time. Um, once you get the film off, uh, sometimes it'll peel clean and sometimes it'll leave a lot of glue. So use like an uh, adhesive remover, uh, like ATR, or awesome. There's a lot of adhesive removers that don't work very well for tint. Oh, my.
my headphones were disconnected and reconnected. So that means this. Awesome or ATR. This is the better place to to ask if you have questions like that. Um, I think ATR is better. Um, I did them side by side though in a video on the channel, um, and honestly, they both did great. That'll depend on the actual adhesive. So I think more consistency with ATR. Um, but basically like I would use awesome, uh, if, if you're like in a pinch and you have to do a removal or you just, you know, you have old tint on your car and you want to get it redone, um, and you don't want to pay to have the removal or whatever. It's like, you just want to take it off yourself. I would use awesome. If you're a shop, um, you can order some ATR, but if you're fine with using awesome, I wouldn't fault anybody for that. It's local, it's convenient, it's like baby shampoo, you know, it's just, it's easy to get to, gets the job done, works really well. They've been doing, I think, some pretty aggressive marketing lately, though. They've been sending out samples uh, to a lot of people, so. I haven't talked to them, but it looks like they got a lockdown on, on Facebook groups right now. <laughs> they're just, they're everywhere. Which is great to see. I love companies that actually put some effort into marketing. That aren't just, hey, I have a sale on window tint, buy my film. <laughs> Product demos, anything, like teach, teach and help that works better for your business. Come on, did we get it? We got it. So you have those little hooks there. You have to get the brake light on there and you put the clips back in. So these guys popped out while we were taking the brake light out. What unique marketing do you do? Uh, honestly, streaming. That's like, that's the main thing. Uh, everything that I stream here is also streamed on my Facebook page for the business. So there's a lot of people that will search uh, for window tint and they'll come across uh, a lot of the videos and stuff like that. So that isn't the majority of my clients, but that's starting to impact that. And then I did make a handful of videos and then boosted them on Facebook about window tinting and about, you know, like when I did that cheap versus expensive carbon video last year, I boosted that and that did really well. So anything like that um, can be really, really helpful because, you know, people are numb to seeing pictures of pretty cars and pretty jobs and stuff like that. It helps, and you want to litter all your stuff with it and change the titles of, like, your pictures to what they are. You know, anything to help out with search. But you'll notice where everybody's lacking is video. Nobody does, nobody hardly does video. Let alone streaming. So... You don't have to go all crazy with, like, a full live stream on a car, but like even as much as like showing that you care <laughs> with some like behind the scenes videos on like the installation process and like you taking your time to clean and showing how you do this, showing how you do that. Like that makes people feel more comfortable when they take their car to you because if they've never been to your shop, they don't know you. 
They just don't want their car to get destroyed and they want a clean job. They want everything to be easy. Just whatever you're gonna do to put people's mind at ease helps. Dang. <laughs> so um, this floor was one of those things I did to, to make the place look better. So that little things like that would help too. Um, I actually just ordered more flooring, so we're gonna move this space out a little bit. And then not too long from now, we're, we're gonna be putting in an order for cabinets. And I think we're gonna do cabinets and better lighting along this whole place. So we're gonna work on making this little studio spot even more. Studio E. Dang. You want to talk about a job that I'm genuinely proud of? It's going to be this one. Well, it's a lot of them, but you know. We have somebody's femur in here. And it's all frameless, and there's a few little things about it. And then you have like these weirdo dot matrix things, and it's like, you just want it to turn out nice. This one, this one turned out very nice. So I'm just giving a final pass on the bottom edge. Before I roll this down, we should be okay. But try and make sure those are sealed up. Nice, they've been sitting for a long time. Do you notice it was the first thing that we did? It's sometimes by coincidence. Today it was on purpose. Most of the time it's by coincidence, but we're gonna be shifting them up and down. We just wanna give them a little extra time if we can. Should be good. It's locked. It's locked. We're out. We're locked out. No, we need to wake it up. So, let's make sure. See, look at that edge. Because when you have those nasty looking side edges, the whole thing will just stand out like a sore thumb. Which is probably why they did these the way that they did them with the dots. But when you tin over it, you don't want that difference between the two. So when you can get them looking like that, ooh, ooh, very nice. Extra happy about that. It's kind of like, just that little, little bit of extra detail. So there we have it, 35 on the front, 20 in the back, in and out, very nice, super good, very happy with this one. <laughs> oh, okay, well that's nice, I have the privilege of removing old tint from a VW Passat wagon. I'm very sorry about that one. Um, that one's not gonna be super fun, but with fresh carbon, that makes it better. Alrighty, my dudes, so we are at the end of the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Let me give some shout outs to some super chats here before we close. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, hope you all learned something. Oh, did I miss one? Did I miss one from Marcus? Or no? <gasps> I did. Oh, dang, I'm so sorry. Marcus, thank you for the five. Thanks for all the info, Matt. You are the man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you for the five. So big, big shout out to, again, Marcus, Jose, uh, Tabor, Jose, Fast, M, Kendall, 
Uh, Mr. Liberty or Death, uh, thank you all for the support. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and anybody else that hung out today, it's always nice to have you guys hanging around, making these things fun. That is why I do them. Um, hope you guys learned something with this one. Matt, don't leave. Uh, we will be back on Monday for sure. So I don't know if it'll be afternoon or early appointment, um, but we do have appointments for Monday and Wednesday um, and so on. So we have some streams coming up. Uh, you all have a good weekend. Stay safe, and I will see you on Monday. Goodbye. Goodbye.